Okay, so we're at the Succo Funk booth, uh, Super Booth 2023, and what are we looking at today? Hi, so I'm Mark from Succo Funk. Uh, we are looking at the Beatmaker Sketchbook. Um, we have two different versions. Um, this one, it's a bit, f a bit historic. Uh, I showed it last year at uh, the Super Booth. Um, at that time, it was uh, like a, a DIY kit. And as you can maybe see, it was a uh, through hole soldering technique. And I just made some, some nice cases around it with engravings, Lovely. everything, no screws. Um, so I'm still building them uh, on request and offering workshops for it. To build it, two days workshops, one day doing the electronics, the other day making the cases. Wow, that would be fun. Um, you can find infos on the website, www wsukofunk.com and um, now I'm also offering um, a pre-order for those devices. Um, they're completely portable. The other one is portable too, but they are smaller. It's just uh, 17 millimeters uh, in height over here, for 40 millimeters with the, with the faders, uh, with the encoders. Um, so it's pretty small, you can even smaller than a cork walker, a little bit. And um, mm -hmm. you can just take it with you, the battery lasts more than one Super Boost day because we didn't have to recharge <laughs> it yesterday <laughs> and the day before. Okay. Um, theoretically it should take like, uh, last like 12 hours. And it is 100% um, it is open source, so you can find the whole uh, source card of it on, uh, on GitHub. Great. And it's a sampler, sequencer slash groove box. So the, the workflow is sample, sketch, arrange and play. Um, sample is a sampler, sketch is a, a traditional sequencer. I'll show it to you in, in a few minutes. Arrange is uh, bringing parts of the um, sequence uh, into, into an, uh, an order to make a song. And play is for playing live performing live. Excellent, wow, that's cool. Okay, just one thing about because it's open source, uh, it's donation based, there's a supporter screen, um, like here, if you donate 25 or more euros, then you can do it like Richie Horton, support the project, and uh, get your name on the, on the screen. Oh, that's cool. That's Thanks. Great. Okay, now let's go back to the device. Um, Let's start with the sampler. I just give you a brief overview. Um, you can record something or sample something from the internal microphone that's over here, the, oh, nice. the black one, through the line in connector. Or you can resample something like you, your sequences, you're playing them back. You can record them again and combine it, for example, with the microphone. That's where the name Beat Magic Maker Sketchbook is coming from. Hmm. So, for example, if you're making. Um, if you're making some beats and have some ideas to rap over it, you can just record that. Um, okay, so, and we have 24 keys, like two octaves from a piano keyboard. Um, we have three banks. So in total we have six octaves, 72 <laughs> buttons, keys, virtual keys, and each key can be assigned to, or a sample can be assigned to each key. Uh, so in total, per project, per song, uh, 72 samples that can be used. Um, you can, when you record, you, re you did your re recording, you can, um, let's take this one. The sample and if you're ready, we'll go. We'll it's just uh, something from the, from the sample swap library. I converted the whole library, it's in here on the SD card. You can browse oh it to great. select the sample. Currently. It's, uh, it took me two days, to uh, my computer, two days to convert it, but 19,200 samples are in here. Oh, wow, Currently on one SD card? On one SD card, yeah, it's about eight gigabytes. Great. And, um, what so file format? It's a uh, raw file format, 16-bit, uh, 16, um, 16, uh, 44 kilohertz, mono. Great. Um, it's based on a Teensy microcontroller, that's why I'm using this mono and the output as you can see in the uh, sequencer uh, s part section, um, yeah. it's stereo because you can do panning and stuff like that. Oh, cool. That's okay. So just let me show you. There's always a menu that you can open with the menu button. It's down here, and those are the keys corresponding to this. So let's take cut, go here, and then there's a start and end marker. And if you hit, you can 
cut down with some uh, uh, shortcuts to, to bit level, to 16-bit level. And if you push a button, whenever you push an encoder, mm -hmm. where you can input values, you can give the control over to the fader down oh, here that's nice. and uh, select the, the start and end point. Ready for the maneuver and like secondary. Ready like for the maneuver and second. Like fine tuning. Yeah, it's like, sorry, it's like. It's okay. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so you can you can do fast cutting, then getting a bit more precise, and even then with the function keys, you see here, it's uh, like on an NPC down to the to the really the, the lowest fraction that possible. Fraction, yeah, yeah, great, that's good. And okay. in does it does it do like polyphonic playback? Can you play like chords on it? Yes, we come to this on the sequencer screen. It's uh, over here. I call this the the sketchbook part because um, it's it's a it's a matrix. We have eight channels, and it's almost endless. So um, it's like like maybe there's a score. What do you call it? Scorebook in an orchestra, yep. um, and then you have just pages that you can turn. And in this case, you can just make put markers where a page ends, and um, that's comparable to patterns. And you can use those pages within the arrange mode, the next step that's coming, to, to chain them uh, to a song. And um, what can we do in this, uh, in this uh, sequencer? Because it's not uh, the, the most common thing, but it's really good for like composing on the go. Um, you can drop samples wherever you want in this grid. It's playing from left to right. And for each sample, you can adjust the volume, the panning, pitch, and uh, the probability if it's looping to be played. And um, if you want to get a bit more advanced, you can open the menu. There are more options, even the playback direction. And if a sample is playing uh, over, um, let's say, three seconds, you can add the several parameter changes. So you can change the, the sound over time. Uh, with, with um, no, you have to define it by hand, or you can mm -hmm. use this uh, this fader. Oh, that's good. And um, yeah, you can change the volume, panning, pitch, um, volume, panning, pitch, and the, the playback direction. Mm -hmm. And if you're using like vocal samples, or whatever, and using taking take all those features, you can do something like scratch effects and um, right. some really nice stuff. And then you can resample it and use it as a new sample. And do you have an option to loop samples? Can you sort of loop samples and change um, the start and end point of them? It's in, in the core, it's already implemented. Um, you can check it on GitHub. But uh, in the user interface, there, is, there are no buttons or menu points right now. So okay. as it's open source, I'm a one-man show. Mm -hmm. uh, there was not enough time for uh, before Super Boost That's to okay. get this done. It's good but to know it, that it will be. Uh, it's coming. Yeah. That's great. Same as um, envelopes, ADSR envelopes, looping stuff. This is uh, already partly implemented. Um, some hard-coded uh, release phase is also in this um, in the sequencer cool. to to avoid harsh uh, endings of edges. Of yeah, edges yeah. Yeah. Can we hear um, what the pattern? Okay. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't play it for you. This is just one. So this is the first pattern. Um, whenever you here, for example, you see that is the hi hat that is set. Another hi hat. And we have um, we have different zoom levels. So oh, nice. yeah. So on a, this is like you know, on a four four. Sorry, I'm not very good in this music expressions in English. Like mm -hmm. a four four. What is it? Bar timing. So yeah. Timing. Yeah. So this is up to a one sixty fourth yeah. note. And then we have um, you can see it over here. Swing. You can swing oh, each lovely. note separately, or we have up to eight swing groups with different color coding. So um, with this swing and the, the resolution, um, the zoom levels, it's the same resolution like uh, the MPC. This is 192 slot steps. And you can also send, um, as there's a MIDI in and MIDI out, you can send MIDI notes to external gear, like this uh, JU06A uh, boot oh yeah, synthesizer. Yeah, we can do this. So we can uh, switch to a uh, second sheet. It's here. Maybe zoom, zoom out a little bit. 
um, it's starting here and so yeah so that sound is coming from here um, I stopped that <laughs> again and uh, let's move to or maybe interesting is um, you can do selections um, like selecting cells in Excel uh, start a selection and then span oh sorry wrong button I'm a bit nervous no worries you can just select uh, a part okay in this case musically it doesn't make much sense but you can store that reference to one of those buttons and for the for the snippets so you're looping and a short part of the pattern there yeah you don't okay. have to loop it but you can reuse it in the live mode so um, let's skip the arrange mode do you think it's it's pretty straightforward yeah. so the, the and pitch soloing, will not be like that this. long and let's go to the live mode so we have a different color coding we have this uh, this to those two oct octaves again mm -hmm. and the three bangs so in total we have 72 slots that we can trigger and we can put samples on slots and snippets for example, this one is the one we heard before, just from this, and we can stop it. And for each and everything, you can define um, define if you want to play it uh, as a whole or only as long as you push the button, oh, so see. for long samples. That's good. Um, you can adjust pitch, panning, volume, uh, the playback direction, and um, assign a MIDI node. So you don't have to... Uh, to to configure your MIDI gear, you just take what you have and then you search for a free node. Okay, this one is free, we use this. Um, push the button again, save it, and now it's on here. Okay. And it's pretty good for something like finger drumming. And um, we have up to eight, uh, up to eight sounds that are sampled that can be played uh, with even with polyphonic aftertouch. Mm. Oh, that's good. Um, eight samples at a time from from this side. You can also do this without aftertouch because it's just uh, one hit buttons. Cool. And is there a limit to how many notes you can um, record in a song, or how many notes can be triggered at any one time? No, it's not. There, it, we have up to twenty-four um, notes that can be played at a time. Um, like 24 channels in this this live mode. Okay. Um, we even have like a piano mode that um, if you hit here, then keyboard mode is on. It's virtually switching. You can also use the same in the in the sequencer. And um, then we have okay. there yeah. um, over those six uh, octaves. You know. <laughs> on the the, la the la first one down, it's pretty um, low, five. low, yeah. yeah. But okay, uh, it basically works. And that piano mode, it doesn't even have to be in this piano mode, can also be um, triggered from external MIDI gear on another MIDI channel. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're listening to two different MIDI channels. Yeah. So we can like play with this, like the Chemical Brothers, there are also two, and then now they just need one device. Um, and how much is it? Where can people find it? Um, people can pre-order it. It started, uh, the pre-order process just started uh, with the start of the Super Boost. Mm -hmm. um, it's on um, sukofunk.com and um, yeah, there's an early bird uh, for the first 10 devices, early bird uh, price of 555 euros. Okay. And um, yeah, after that, probably 675. Okay, and then the enclosure? How much is the enclosure again? Oh, this one, uh, they are just made on request and then we, we uh, discuss about the price. Okay. If you want to do this workshop, it's included with accommoda accommodation, acc accommodation and food and everything. Oh, wow. Um, Where is that? Where do people do that? It's a uh, one hour drive from, from Berlin. It's a really, really nice location. Yeah. Uh, I would suggest just go to the website. There's a blog post with some nice, um, nice photos. It's a historic uh, telecommunication uh, building, but uh, people are um, there's this there's this um, project. 
They are living there. They're, they bought the, the, the area. Oh, wow. They are living there. They're really nice people. And um, mm. they offered me to make a workshop in that, uh, in that um, the area. nice, yeah, in that, um, I, don't know why I don't know the English word, in this uh, in a nice building. So there's a tower. You have a nice view about Brandenburg. Oh, wow. And uh, it will for two days be the, the highest located makerspace in this area. Excellent. Well, thank okay. you so much for showing us the Beatmaker sketchbook. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Mm.